हेलो क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय मैथ्स क्लास आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू विल बी फाइन एट योर होम एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ डेरिवेटिव कैलकुलस सचिन सर हैज ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी तो आई एम डूइंग दिस चैप्टर डेरीवेटिव विच इज़ द कंटिन्यूशन पार्ट ऑफ दैट चैप्टर ओनली ऑलरेडी दिस इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डेरीवेटिव and the limit part that you have learned somewhere in 11th standard some certain things you already knows in this chapter i am just revising whatever you have done in 11th first and then i will uh, teach you the chain rule today derivative at a point x is equal to a a real valued function f of x is said to be differentiable or derivable at x is equal to a if this limit the limit h tending to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a upon h exist and it is finite this is the first principle derivative that uh, you have learned somewhere in 11th standard this limit is known as a derivative of f of x at x is equal to a different notation for this f dash a d f of a derivative of f of a d by dx f of x at x is equal to a or dy by dx at x is equal to a y dash a these are the different uh, notation that somewhere we have learned in 11th standard and the process of determination of this f dash a that is called as a differentiation the process of finding the derivative of function that is known as a differentiation students now as i said ki this is the first principle derivative that you have learned somewhere in 11th standard only this part then as we know ki limit exist when the right hand limit and the left hand limit both are same we know ki then only the limit is going to exist so if i am writing the same limit in the right hand part means when h is tending to 0 so i was discussing the h tending to 0 as tending to 0 is a possible in two ways that is one from right side as tending to 0 plus then as tending to 0 plus me this limit will become right hand derivative and another when left side say as tending to 0 minus less than 0 wala part so then this same formula the first one that will become left hand derivative and derivative of function will exist only when the left hand derivative and right der right hand derivative both are same that is this here when the left hand derivative and the right hand derivative both are equal then we say the derivative of function exist so students are uh, very important this uh, slides so you please take the screenshot note down this one this is the first principle of derivative formula that we have learned in 11th standard and right hand derivative and left hand derivative formula nothing is changed in the formula only it is uh, just from right side tending to 0 plus this is from left side tending to 0 minus the same formula that you have learned in 11th standard that i am uh, discussing in the left and right side part even the same formula we can write uh, first principle derivative formula we write in a different form this is the first principle derivative formula f dash a limit as tending to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a by h if i'll put here a plus h as a x see here a plus h is equal to x so then as s tending to 0 because uh, already the limit part if you see the h is tending to 0 so this implies that x will tends to a and that's why the same above formula first principle of derivative change in a different way here f dash a is equal to now sorry here up a limit x tending to 0 nahi here you write limit x tending to a limit x tending to a f of x minus f of a upon x minus a student make it change this is not x tending to 0 this is x tending to a so the formula will become this means i am writing the formula that will look like something this f dash a is equal to limit x tending to a f of x minus f of a upon x minus a this way this is the another way to write the first principle of derivative this is the another way to write that first principle of derivative so remember this part also okay note down this now some standard derivative some uh, derivative of some standard function that we have already derived somewhere in 11th standard and we have remembered this formula also i'm just recalling that one in the 
11th standard you have done the derivative of constant function that is a 0 by first principal derivative we have derived this derivative of x raised to n n into x raised to n minus 1 derivative of sin x that is a cos x cos x derivative that is minus sin x tan x derivative that is a sec square sec x derivative that is sec into tan x cot x derivative is a minus cosec square cosec x derivative that is minus cosec into cot x log x or this is also written as log x to the base e because if the base is not written that always we consider that as a e only so derivative of log x that is a 1 by x this formula that we have already done in 11th some more are there that uh, derivative of exponential function e raised to x is e raised to x same only derivative of a raised to x that is a a raised to x into log a derivative of root x that is a 1 by root x derivative of 1 by x minus 1 by x square and the rules of differentiation these are the some rules that if between two three functions if there is a plus minus then we apply the derivative for all then product rule this is a very important tool derivative of u into v so then we fix the u derivative of v plus v ko fix karo derivative of u u by v rule so then denominator may v square starting from denominator only v derivative of numerator u derivative of u minus numerator fix hoga u into derivative of denominator derivative of v so this uh, rules that i have already taught you in 11th standard uh, remember this rule because these rules are going to use again and again in this 12th standard also this basic formula that we are going to use again and again so these are the basic things that we should know and we should remember always for 12th standard what we are going to learn here in the 12th standard the first concept that is the chain rule theorem first i am doing which is not required proof of this theorem is not required but let's understand the theorem statement if y is a function of u what it is the saying y is a function of u so y is a defined as y equal to f of u and u is a function of x which is defined as u is equal to g of x so then if you are finding the derivative of then y is a function of x so agar dekhi keh raha tha ki y u pe depend karta hai theorem kehta hai ki y is a depending upon u and u is a depending upon x so ultimately hum keh sakte hain ki y is a depend upon x y is a depend upon x students okay so this way if i want to find the derivative of y with respect to x if you remember the derivative i told you that derivative is nothing but the rate of change and i discussed this uh, examples many times ki i say ki in birthday party we put some balloons at the night and what we find that that balloons get shrink unke shapes reduce ho jate hain morning tak so uh, what is a happening that uh, volume or surface area is a decreasing with respect to time jaise jaise time pass ho raha hai jo balloon hai wo shrink hote ja raha hai to balloon is in the shape of sphere somewhere and sphere the uh, uh, formula the volume of sphere is a 4 by 3 pi r cube this is a depend upon radius but the radius is a depend upon time okay that is the only the concept of chain rule linking to aap dekhenge to y u pe depend tha u x pe depend tha to y x pe depend hai indirectly y x pe depend hua at that time if you are interested for derivative of y with respect to x agar aapko dy by dx chahiye to the variable which is a playing the role in between i have to take the help of that so that's why it is defined as a dy by dx is equal to derivative of y with respect to x is equal to derivative of y with respect to u dy by du into derivative of u with respect to x du by dx kehne ko students hum is tarike se logically kehte hain samajhne wale students ko ki dekho bhai du du cancel ho gaya aur dy by dx equal ho gaya but aisa kuch hota nahi it is just to understand that is a for your understanding only okay now let's understand by the example ki if y is equal to sin x square plus 5 so how to find the dy by dx ye aapko example maine diya hai y equal to sin x square plus 5 aur mujhe find karna hai dy by dx to ab mujhe to jo pata hai wo derivative of sin x pata hai single variable ka pata hai but yahan agar sin x hota to hum bahut immediately kehte ki sin x ki derivative cos x hai बट यहाँ पे आप स्टूडेंट्स ध्यान से देखिए साइन का जो एंगल पार्ट है वो फंक्शन है वो एक अपने आप में एक 
फंक्शन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनॉमिल है तो ऐसे फंक्शंस की डेरिवेटी कैसे करेंगे हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू डेरिवेटी तो मैं वही चीज़ इसकी हेल्प लेने के लिए इसको सिंगल वेरिएबल बनाऊंगा सिंगल वेरिएबल कैसे बनाऊंगा एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव को यू एज्यूम कर लिया मान लो कि यू इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव है तो इसलिए वाई इक्वल टू क्या हो जाएगा साइन यू हो जाएगा और एज पर द डिफिनेशन ऑफ चेन रूल डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी वाई बाई डी यू इन टू डी यू बाई डी एक्स तो आई नो कि दिस इज अ गोइंग टू बी अब मैं यहाँ पे सारी चीज़ें पुट करता हूँ डी वाई बाई डी एक्स तो देखते हैं कि अगर हम सारी चीज़ें यहाँ पे पुट करते हैं तो देन व्हाट वी आर फाइंडिंग कि यहाँ पे जो y है वो साइन u हो गया डेरिवेटी ऑफ साइन u विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू u यहाँ पे ये जो u है वो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव है एज पर डिफिनेशन हीयर एंड देन इफ आई डू द डेरीविटी ऑफ साइन यू विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू यू तो देन इट इज़ अ कॉस यू डेरीविटी ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव दैट इज़ अ टू एक्स डेरीविटी ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर टू एक्स बाय दैट फॉर्मला एक्स रेस टू एन एन इन टू एक्स रेस टू एन माइनस वन डेरीविटी ऑफ फाइव दैट इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट सो जीरो एंड इफ आई रिप्लेस यू अगेन तो आई एम गोइंग टू गेट कॉस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव इन टू टू एक्स तो दिस वे योर चेन रूल इज अपनिंग वी आर डूइंग द डेरीविटी बट दिस इज अ जस्ट राइटिंग यू एंड ऑल दैट एंड देन ऑल दिस थिंग्स एंड वी आर फाइंडिंग द डेरीविटी एट लास्ट तो दिस इज सम वेयर कंज्यूमिंग प्रोसेस जिसको मैं आपको ऑलरेडी कहता हूँ कि वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू कंसिड इन माइंड वनली यू कंसिडर दिस एज अ सिंगल वेरिएबल एंड फॉलो द अल्टरनेट मेथड तो लेट्स सी द अल्टरनेट मेथड इन अल्टरनेट मेथड वॉट वी डू कि एज इट इज अ सेंग द चेन रूल तो चेन रूल में करना क्या ना कि आपको इसको सिंगल वेरिएबल समझ के डेरीविटी अप्लाई करनी है स्टार्ट विद द डेरीविटी डेरीविटी ऑफ साइन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव अभी हम इसे सिंगल वेरिएबल समझ रहे हैं तो साइन की डेरीविटी मतलब बाहर से फंक्शन को देखते आते हैं डेरीविटी ऑफ साइन कॉस कॉस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव देन इन साइड आते हैं तो इन साइड द फंक्शन इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव सो डेरीविटी ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव दिस वी आर कीपिंग एज इट इज डेरीविटी ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव करें तो डेरीविटी ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर टू एक्स फाइव की डेरीविटी जीरो एंड देर फोर कॉस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव इंटू टू एक्स एंड दैट्स वाई टू एक्स इंटू कॉस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव तो आई से कि फॉलो दिस वन दैट वुड बी मच बेटर इट सेव योर टाइम ऑलवेज ओके एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस लेट्स सी सम मोर लाइक सेकेंड वन कॉस ऑफ साइन एक्स तो कॉस ऑफ साइन एक्स के लिए करें तो वाई इक्वल टू कॉस ऑफ साइन एक्स डेरिविटी चालू की तो सबसे पहले बाहर कौन है कॉस अब कॉस की डेरिविटी देखो क्या होगी माइनस साइन तो दैट्स वाई माइनस साइन ऑफ साइन एक्स देन इफ यू गो इन साइड देन साइन एक्स इज अर तो डेरिविटी ऑफ साइन एक्स तो माइनस ऑफ साइन ऑफ साइन एक्स एज इट इज एंड डेरिविटी ऑफ साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स तो ओके स्टूडेंट दिस वे द चेन रूल इज हैपनिंग द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज ऑलमोस्ट इज अ बेस्ड ऑन दिस वनली तो यू कैन स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग दैट एक्सरसाइज ओके एंड नाउ I am just uh, giving the exam information. That every Saturday, Sunday, we are conducting test on our SBB online material. You all have to compulsory appear for that exam. The Monday and Tuesday result test will be displayed, and the files will be available for two days. So copy this link, uh, take from the slide screenshot, and always appear for that test. Another thing regarding the assignment for whenever I give the upload uh, this video we upload the assignment part also i upload worksheet regarding the whatever i have taught all you have to compulsory uh, complete that worksheet in your class notebook from this uh, link from this site you can download your homework and complete that so thank you for watching this video i have completed a chain rule part a little bit you start solving the exercise and assignments that i have given and then in next video we'll continue the differentiation part thank you thank you for watching